Hey guys, welcome back to A Good Life Farm. So it is a rainy, stormy, yucky kind of day today. And I thought today would be the perfect day then to do a little bit of baking. Um, you may have seen, if you are one of my regular subscribers, that it is squash season. Well, I am going to be doing lots of squash recipes over the next few weeks and I thought I would share some of them with you, this being the first one. Uh, today I'm going to make a lemon zucchini bread. This is a classic quick bread recipe and my oven just finished heating up. Um, classic quick bread recipe great way to use some zucchini and this is one of those recipes that if you like lemony things you would love this one because it is a nice moist um, quick bread and then you have a simple glaze that you can put on top optionally um, it's just it's really good with a cup of coffee so now while i'm doing this if you hear some sounds uh, that go cheap 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 it is because we have been incubating some Icelandic chicken eggs and it has been, the last two days have been hatching and we have one left, our late runner who, who just hatched out a little bit ago and is still down there in the incubator um, finishing up before it can go into the brooder with the rest of the chick. So if you hear some cheep, cheep, cheeping, you're not imagining things. All right, so let's get started uh, making this recipe. So the oven was heating up to 325 degrees. Now this recipe makes one loaf, but you can very easily double it. This also freezes very well, so you can enjoy one loaf now and the other loaf later on. If you choose to freeze it, what I would do is simply omit that glaze and then just add it when you thaw it out if you like to go that route. All right. Grab one more sip of coffee here. All right, I've got a small mixing bowl here and I'm gonna start by measuring out my dry ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna need is a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. And I'm just gonna mix these dry ingredients in a small bowl here and I will work on the liquid ones in my larger mixing bowl. So, a cup and a half of flour. And then we're gonna need a half a teaspoon each of salt, baking soda, and baking powder. And people always crack up that I, I keep my salt in a sugar dish. <laughs> but I thought it was cute and I thought it was good for salt. We keep the sugar over by the coffee maker, so that's not an accident that will happen. All right, now I'm just gonna give those a quick little stir. And set that aside for now. And I'm gonna grab my mixing bowl here. And this is actually probably overkill. I probably didn't need one this big, but that's all right. So in the mixing bowl here, I'm gonna need one cup of sugar. Oop. Let me scoop out of the way. And then I'm going to add in the zest of one lemon. And I've got my little microplaner here. And I'm just gonna zest this right into the sugar. And I'm gonna need some lemon juice, about two teaspoons. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and juice the whole lemon because I'll actually use um, some of the lemon juice for the glaze as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my two teaspoons of lemon juice to the sugar and the lemon zest. And I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of plain, unsweetened, uncinnamoned applesauce. Then I need a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And this is extra virgin olive oil that I use. You could also use a light olive oil if you so choose. Okay. Next, three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And last, we're going to need two eggs. I'm going to whisk all of these together, the sugar, the eggs, lemon zest, all that good stuff. Now we're going to add in our dry ingredients. And we're going to whisk these until they're nice and smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a spatula. So I'm going to take my spatula, just kind of scrape around the bowl real quick. And I'm going to add in one cup of shredded zucchini. Right there. Now we're just going to stir that in real good. So now you're going to put the batter into a greased and floured standard sized loaf pan. Um, normally I actually have a mixture that I, that I coat my pans with, but I didn't have any mixed up. And so I just greased and floured it. Uh, and then I'll mix up some more of my, my mixture uh, later on. I'll put a link down below where you can find out about that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the batter in my pan here. Spread it out a little bit. And this is going to go into the oven for an hour to an hour and five minutes or until it tests done with a toothpick. Are you drying?
Hey guys, so my lemon zucchini bread has fully cooled. And so now I'm going to make the simple glaze for this. And this is totally optional. You don't have to make a glaze if you don't want to. Um, it's just one of those things. So I saved a teaspoon of the lemon juice from the lemon that I juiced earlier. And I've got one cup of powdered sugar. And I, and I actually don't know if I'm gonna need all of this glaze, um, but we'll just go ahead and mix this up. And I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right. And then I'm going to grab uh, some milk. And I'm not going to need much, so I'm just going to pour a little bit in this dish here. I'm going to start off with maybe a teaspoon or two and see how much we need. And just start whisking that together. This is one of those things you don't even really need to measure this. Just kind of eyeball it. Start off with about a cup or so of powdered sugar. And then you just add as much liquid as you need to get the consistency you want. So I'm gonna need a little bit more here. And just keep whisking until it's smooth. Okay, so that's good. It's always best to start with a little bit of liquid. You know, have this almost too thick and then just add tiny bits of liquid at a time until you get to where you want it to be. It's because it's very easy to add too much liquid when you're doing this. You can always add a little bit more at a time, but you can't take away. Now, if you do get it too runny, too thin, um, you can fix that by adding in more powdered sugar, but it's gonna take more than you think it would take. And so now I'm just gonna drizzle this all over the top of the lemon zucchini bread. And again, if you're doubling this recipe so that you can freeze one loaf, um, I would not put the glaze on until you're ready to actually consume it. Just freeze it without the glaze, and then if you want, you could mix it up and put it on the bread um, when you're ready to eat it, when you thaw it out. So now I'm going to grab a plate. All right, so that is how you make the lemon zucchini bread with the lemon glaze. And if you would like to give this recipe a try, you can find a printable version of it over on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com. And I will put a link to that down below so that you can print it or you can save it over on Pinterest. And there's over 700 other recipes on the website, including some more zucchini recipes. So thanks for joining me here again in the Homestead Kitchen. If you're not already signed up for my free email newsletter, be sure to sign up for that, and that will keep you up to date on everything going on here at the Homestead, as well as on my website, all the new recipes and articles and all of that. So 
Thanks for hanging out with me here again in the kitchen. I will talk to y'all next time.